my doggies? Welcome back to another video. Hey, it has been a minute since we've seen each other. I have been flat out like a lizard drinking, doing a couple of missions, put the camera away for a little while, but we are back and we're back and we're good as ever. I am super pumped right now. It is blowing about a 30 knot wind right now. Look at this. The ocean is as rough as guts. The camera never does it justice. That's about a 30 knot wind. But what we're doing right now is we are going to see if we can get a couple of Taylor. Sun is setting, we don't have too much time here. I want to see if I can get a tailor on the cook. I'll explain to you guys why, but right now, we're going to leg it down here, see if we can fish the back of this reef and get a fish on the deck. Ow! <laughs> hey! Hey, it is actually so windy right now. I hope you guys can hear me. We've got the noodle rod, and we've got a little bit of a bigger rod. We've got two rods right now. We've got about an hour's worth of sunlight left. The mission right now is just to get any kind of fish on the deck. I've just been absolutely craving fish in the back of the troopy. That's all I want to do, one fish on the deck. Look at this, this looks magic. There's a little bit, there's a little bit of a hole in the reef here. We're going to throw a few poppers around, see if we can get a fish. This is mad. Put about an hour's worth of light. All right, this is what we're doing. We've got a 40, 40 gram keeling stick bait from Ocean's Legacy. We've got a thick 6,000 SW Stella. Let's see if we can beat this wind, flog a couple of lures at the back of this reef and get something to eat for dinner. That's about, 30 minutes to 40 minutes of sun right there and it is going to be pitch black very very soon if i can get a fish before that sun sets we're going to be frothing let's go let's go ah! oh, oh straight into the danger zone there come on come on eat him up first cast eat him up eat him up hey! all right i've had about 15 to 20 casts up there no luck I'm gonna walk up here, just up here over my shoulder there, there's this like, I don't know, it just looks really good. There's a little bit of current, there's a lot of water rushing off the reef right now, it's an outgoing tide. This could be naughty, this could be a danger zone. You've gotta watch these waves, eh? every now and then there's just this rogue set that's coming over this reef. And um, if that hits us, we're in some big, big, big trouble. Right now we're walking through about knee deep water. Up here, up here is the zone. We don't have much time left. Look at that sun, that sun is sinking very, very bloody quickly. Oh, there we go, nearly fell in. Oh no. Risky business. Hey. Come on, let's go. That is dangerous water out there. Big bombies, lots of reef. There's gotta be fish out there, come on. Come on, eat him up, eat him up, eat him up. Oh, that's fish. Is that fish? Yeah, we got fish on, doggies. That's fish, that's fish. Oh, oh no, we just dropped it. There's fish out there, there's fish there, there's fish there. We just had fish on. Get off. All right, 100%. We've got fish out here. We just lost, we just pulled hooks on one. Here we go, ready, ready, ready? Come on, big dog, come on, eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. It's fish, that absolutely, that absolutely just came out of the water like a rocket. Oh my god, that's big, bro! Oh my god, that's big, bro! I just lost the biggest tailor! Man! Oi, right, doggies, I just lost a meter! That thing's a meter! That's a meter long fish! I'm not even joking right now! Are you kidding me? That's the biggest fish I've ever seen on this little system of reef here! That was big, bro! Come on, come back! He was a solid fish, bruh. Are you kidding me? I reckon that would have been my personal best PB Taylor. Just out the back here, that thing launched out of the water. I'm talking easy a meter. Like that was a meter fish. Come flying out of the water right here. We've got about 20 minutes, 15 minutes of sun left. Bruh, that was a big fish, man. Just, I don't know, it just came, it, it launched out of the water with the Louis in its mouth. Obviously didn't set hooks properly. Let's get back out there. That was next level. Push. Come on, show me that fish again. That has got me heart racing, boy. He was a big dog. You've got to be kidding me. Have a look at this. That sun is setting in the background there. It's a banging sunset. Oi, we just lost one of the biggest tailor I've seen probably all year. Like. That thing was, that thing pushed over a meter easy. That was a slob of a fish. I've just been piffing lures. Ever, ever since that thing hit, the, hit that lure, I've just been casting flat out. Obviously, we've got no fish. 
Got a little bit of a steam back to the car. The car's parked down the coast up there. Look at this, man. Look at this sunset right now. The problem that we have in our hands is that I have not got a fish on the deck, which means this is turning into one hell of a fishing mission. I'm not going to give up until we get a fish on the deck in this episode. So that's what we're doing. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to um, either come back here and see if we can recapture that slob, or if the weather gods play in our favor, we're going to be out in the boat. So either or, I'll see you guys in the morning. Dude, we just lost a very, very bloody big fish just out there. That thing was a slob, man. All right, I'll see you in the morning. We're going fishing. I've got no idea where or how, but we're going to get a fish on the deck. See you in the morning, doggies. Sight! Oosh, oosh. There we bloody go. Here we bloody go. What is going on, my doggies? Good morning to you. It has just gone 4.43 in the a.m. We've made a decision. We're going fishing in the boat. We're taking the Stabie Craft out for a bash. Look, the weather is not ideal this morning. It's blowing about 20 knots southerlies already. It's gonna be as rough as guts out there. We're gonna take out some bigger rods this morning. We're gonna take out a couple of these, buddy. Oh, I actually got these new lures to try. These lures look really naughty. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna troll a couple of lures around. The demersal band is still on right now, so we can't be catching demersals, but we can catch pelagic fish. So what I'm going for is, Spanish mackerel, wahoo, big dirty slob looking yellowfin tuna. That is the go. First coffee, we're loading up the boat. We're going fishing, my doggies. Let's go see if we can get a slob on the deck. Have a go at that, would ya? That's what you call some reversing. And I'm that frothing to get out there right now, you don't even understand. And there's nothing quite like the excitement of going fishing. You just never know what you're gonna get. Pitch black. Let's go, look at that moon. Oh. 5.01 in the morning, let's get it done. It is still pitch black right now. We're gonna go chuck a little bit of petrol in the boat, grab a couple of cold drinks, a little bit of ice, see you guys out on the water. It's a beautiful day. Look at these trees, these trees are blowing already. It's not gonna be nice out there, but um, it is what it is, mate. We're just gonna get it done. Hopefully we can get a slob on the deck. And the rabbits, there's rabbits everywhere, bruh. Get the bow and arrow out, eh? Lucky, mate. Rah! Look at this, mate. Oi, the conditions are so much better than I originally thought they were gonna be. There's a little bit of a southerly wind blowing, but it's like two to three knots. It's actually pretty glamour right now. So we've got about an hour to an hour and a half steam south of here where I want to be trolling lures today so I'm just going to punch it, use this good weather to our advantage, get to the location and we're going to start dropping some lures in the water, trolling along the back of a big ledge and um, hopefully we just get tick tick boom. But right now man this is some incredibly bloody beautiful water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a quick barista session, get a coffee on the pump and then we're steaming south about an hour and a half. It's going to be a good day. I reckon we need to make a little bit of a barista session first. There ain't nothing like a brand new bag of coffee to start the day. Another big bag coming out here, FDYS coffee. There's still actually a few bags of this stuff here left if you guys are interested. There's a link in the description of the video if you want to check it out. For those who have already got it, happy coffee drinking doggies because this stuff here is bloody amazing. Some of the reviews we're getting on it is pretty good, eh? We've got a thermos here full of hot water. No time to waste. Let's get this in, get out there. Go, baby! Oh! How good is a fresh pair of sunnies? The legends over at Otis Sunglasses have sent me out another pair of sunnies. These are like reflective blue ones. I'm going to make these my fishing sunnies. This exact frame is called Life on Mars. There's a link in the description of the video if you guys want to check these sunnies out. Otis Sunglasses, 
I've been wearing them like nearly my entire life. They're some of the best sunnies. Mineral glass lenses, the polarization is out of control, especially when you're doing fishing missions like this. They're just a good old fashioned pair of sunnies. So if you want to check them out, there is a link in the description of this video. Brand new sunnies, man. These things are naughty. All right, we've got two lures out the back. We've got a coffee down here. I'm going to bust some tunes on, and we're just going to start punching into this sloppy wind to see if we can make one of these fishing rods at the back there start screaming. This is madness, mate. This is good times. This is a very, very good sign. All of that there that's coming up on the sand is bait fish. There's a lot of bait in the water. We've been coming over heaps and heaps of bait like this. This is good, man. We're just going to keep steaming this way. Hopefully there's some fish hanging around that bait. Look at that. Lots of bait. Come on, big dogs. Have a run. Have a run. Look at the bait. There is lots of bait down there. Just got to find fish on the back of these bait balls and we're going to be on. Glorious out here. Let's see if the rumours are true. Bananas, good luck or bad luck? We're about to find out. was dangerous we just come over this big bait ball and that rod in the corner just went wow just started screaming would have pulled out 20 15 meters of line and it just come off so it obviously didn't set the hook properly but that was a good fish that hit that just then big run we just come over a big bait ball i've just done a circle around it i'm going to circle around it again just to see what happens but that was a good fish man what i'm doing right now is i'm looking for birds there's a lot of birds that are flying around, but they're not really diving. They're just flying, they're scoping out the water. There's a lot of bait on the sounder coming up, but also there's not really a lot of fish in the bait. We've just had our first run then. Um, I come out here a couple of days ago, a couple of months or a couple of weeks ago with one of my mates, Vicky, and um, we found a big bait ball and it was just going off. So what I'll do is I'll roll that footage on now. I'll show you guys what I'm looking for. This is exactly what I'm looking for. I'll roll the footage on now. Sweet! <laughs> All right, doggies, it is all happening out here. Me and Vicky are getting absolutely pumped right now. There is a big school of fish about four, 300 meters ahead of us. We're trolling the old school rod and reel out the back. Vicky's gonna peg a lure into the school and um, we're gonna see what happens. There is a lot, oh, look at this. Oh, they're right, coming right under the boat now. Here we go, ready? Check this out. One of these rods is gonna explode. So this is all the bait, there's bait there, bait there, and in between all this bait, we're getting these big tuna runs, so we're just, cruising through these bait balls, Vicky's throwing lures, I'm throwing a lure, and um, man, we're gonna get tight lines, watch this. Oh wow, look at that. This is what we've been waiting for all day, dude. Oh, that, oh, that's big. Go, 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 go. Oh my God, they're yellow, bro. Are they yellow? Oh, there we go. Oh, here we go. Yes. I've got that other rod out. Oh, this is not a skip, Jack. It's a yellow fin. This one just woke up too, man. Yeah, that's the yellow fin for sure. Oh, look at the yellow fin out there. Oh, this is the shit, dude. Woo! Yeah. This is what it's all about, eh? This is it. Oh, look at this. Oh, I just lost mine. It was skippy. Skipjack. This is hectic. Oh, it is all happening out here right now. We have just found a big school of yellowfin tuna. Mac tuna, skip tuna, just absolutely destroying the surface. Big dog just, Biggie just lost one. I just lost one. And um, now we're trolling a skirt behind the boat here, trying to pick another one up. This is hectic. Biggie's retiring. I'm trying to find that school of fish again. It is all happening out here. This is so sick. We need to get one on surface, eh? 
Righto, big dog just got absolutely destroyed trolling the lure. Those fish went deep. We just chucked two lures out the back and then this little this little laser gold laser pro just got smoked, man. It's just all about the dick. It's all about that little dick whip. <laughs> Look at that thing there, man. Just take the balls. Is he a yellow? That's a yellow fin. Oh, that's a good one. Good one. That's sick. He's nice. What's that? 10 kilo? Yeah, man. Look at the shine on him, bro. Look at the colour of it, man. Bro, that's a sick wait, wait, wait for it to do his... That's beautiful. That'll be a sick. Yeah, one. doggy. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. There we go. That's a gaff in it. That is beautiful, bro. Ow. Oosh. That's bigger than the other one. <laughs> yeah, doggy. Finally, makes the job. Oh, that's it again. <laughs> 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 One, two, three, go! Make the drive from Perth all worth it. Look at that thing! That just went 15 kilo. Ow. What we do is we chuck him in this bin here, we bleed the blood out of him, and that is going to be some of the most incredible sashimi. That's sick, bro. Look at the day. Oh man, this is super fun, eh? What we need to do is we need to get one on this vintage rod. Let's go. Tell you what, mate, it has been an insane day out here so far. This is Big Dog's second yellowfin tuna for the day. Look at that thing. That thing is an absolute rocket. We've got another one in here. There's one on ice in there. We are eating good, doggies. That thing, that thing smoked it up. Look at these bro. Yeah, those are really good. Yeah, good flies. <laughs> what is this? There's like other fish there? Oh no, is that a shark on it? No. What is it? Big man. Get spanked. I actually can't turn its head over at this point. What is it? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Oh, ah. Look out. <laughs> that is a big dirty Sambo. Just pulled it straight off on the light jigging gear. There is a brand new FDYS jig hanging out of his gob. They're gonna be available very, very soon on the online shop. Here's a beautiful fish. Come on, you get one double hookups. Look at that thing. Oh, that thing took off easy. All right, we're gonna go get double hookups on those things. That was sick. Let's go, bro. So that there is basically what we're looking for. Birds diving, fish going spastic. That is what I, that's what I really want to do. I want to throw a stick bait into one of those piles. That was a good day's fishing. Me and Vicky got a couple of good fish that day. We're in exactly the same area right now. So I'm just going to keep doing circles around these bait balls. Hopefully sooner or later we can pick up the fish that are swimming in between them. And we're just going to get zoop, zoop, zoop tight lines. But um, until then, it is a beautiful day out here, man. That wind's dropped off a little bit. It is now 9.42 in the morning. So a few hours have passed. We've got one little hit. But the wind is starting to drop off, so it's really good. We're just going to keep cruising around and we're going to find this big dog. Oh, you are joking me! Alright, this is what we're doing, my doggies. We're pulling the pin on trolling. I'm going to punch back into the mainland now. The wind picked up like crazy out there. It was absolutely blowing its titties off. We would have been trolling around for about four to five hours this morning. And um, we've had no luck. We've had one little sniff earlier, but that was it. So that's fishing for you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the boat back on the trailer. I'm going to um, take the boat back, give it a wash, go grab that tailor fishing rod again. We're going to go back down to where I lost that big tailor and see if we can catch that tailor. That is the plan now. I love doing this. This is fishing. Not every time you go out you get a fish, but the fun thing is that you can just keep going and going until you get something. So that's what we're going to do. This episode could drag on for like seven days. And if it does, so be it. We're going to be putting a fish on a frying pan some, at some point anyway. All right, I'll see you guys when I see you. I'm going to go chuck the boat on the trailer and then we're, um, we're going to go.
we're going back down to that Taylor hole. It's going to be bloody windy down there, so um, tie your shoelaces up and bring your umbrellas. It's going to be a windy one. Stay! Righto! Good bloody morning, my doggies. Hey, we're back at it again. This is, um, this is just turning into one hell of a mission, and there is nothing wrong with it. Have a look at this. That sun, that sun isn't even up yet. We're on another Forby track. We're heading this way, we're going fishing. There's a little bit of wind already, but look, it ain't gonna stop us from getting a fish on the deck this morning. It is a beautiful morning, 6, 6, 10 in the morning. A little bit of wind around. We're gonna go down this big bloody hill here, see what happens on the end of it. But um, look, aim of the game is to chuck a fish on a frying pan for breakfast. That's been the whole entire aim this whole episode, and uh, it hasn't happened yet. So let's see how we go this morning. It's a beautiful day, bud. Have a look at this. Get up there, big rig, get up there. Up there, big rig, up there. <laughs> oh man, it looks like the most in It looks like the most incredible day. Hey, somebody's in our fishing spot. You are joking. You have got to be kidding me. Look at this, doggies. Oh, look at this. See that car right there? You are kidding me. You're never gonna believe who that is. What are you doing in my secret fishing spot? Waiting for you. <laughs> well, this is Papa Field Day. Yeah, mate. Let's go get some big fish. I lost the biggest fish here the other day. You ready? Let's do it. Let's go. All right, we're back for vengeance. I'm back to see if I can pull that meter fish off the reef. My old man's here as well. Two of us. Let's see if we can get this done. It is a beautiful day. It's blowing a little bit of a southerly wind right now, but it ain't too bad. Let's do this. This is where I hooked up that fish at the start of this episode, just in that corner over there. So I'm shooting straight back out there. Let's see if we can get this big dog on the deck. A little bit of breakfast around the cars up there with a coffee. That is the goal. That's what we're trying to achieve right now. Let's look at him. He's straight out there. Like a little kid in a candy shop, eh? <laughs> Let's go, doggies. We're going to get a fish on the deck this morning. I've got a good feeling. Yesterday, I've got absolutely nothing. Any luck? Same. As soon as that sun comes over the hill, bang. You can just see now that sun has just come over that dune there. We're just starting to get a little bit of a sunrise going on. This is when the fish should start turning on. Nice! Come on, big dogs. I know you're out there. I know you're out there. There's a big school of bait fish jumping right there. Right in front of you. They're literally right in front of you. They're jumping everywhere. Come on, there's got to be a fish behind them. Get out there, get out there. Big school of bait fish jumping. There he is. Oh, come on, baby. Yeah, get him. All right, the fish are here. I've got to run, I've got to run up here. Go, go, go. We've got fish on. Hopefully we can keep hooks in this thing. This is breakfast. You have got to be kidding me. We've actually got a fish on the deck. This is the fish we're coming for. That's called a tailor. He's a good size. It's about 45 centimeters long. It's definitely not the fish that we lost at the start of the episode, but still that is a good fish. You can see why they're called a tailor because they always come in and they just destroy the back of a fish. So he's just come in, he's tried to bite the tail off that little bait fish, off that lure that I'm using there, and we've just plugged him in the cheek. He's a beautiful one, he's going straight on the frying pan. That right there is breakfast, but we've got to step the game up. Let's see if we can get something bigger. What happened then was I seen him, I hooked him, I said to my old man, I was like, get your lure out there real quick, there's fish there. I just flicked it at the back of the reef, maybe two meters off the back, and I just twitched it in the white water. And this fella here came up and had a smack. Beautiful fish. I'm gonna put him to sleep. That is breakfast. We've got a we've got a fish, doggies. It took some time, but we've got a fish. I'm gonna see if I can go get that big dog now. Let's upgrade. The old man's still fishing. I think the old man's gonna have to make the coffees now because um I've got the first fish on the deck. He's a good one, he's a beautiful one. Let's keep going. That's sick. All right, we got breakfast. Push. Boy. 
Oh, you're gonna get rolled on this wave. <laughs> Run! Soaking. Everything is soaking wet right now. Look at me. I'm like a drowned rat. I wish I got that on camera. What happens is every now and then there's these like rogue sets that come in. They're like prop like up to here. And I said to my old man, I'm like, oi, run. And I started running back to the back to the shore and my foot went straight down a hole and I just went over. And I'm using this like canvas shoulder bag right now. And I had car keys, phone, brand new Leatherman, GoPros, box of GoPro batteries. And I just went down, boy. I was like this deep in water trying to hold onto my bag, hold onto a fishing rod. Everything is soaking wet right now. I keep my GoPro batteries in this little waterproof container, so they should be all good to go. But uh, my phone's soaked, my car keys are soaked. Anyway, we're not gonna stop. We're gonna go back out there. Let's get back out there. That's funny. My old man just ran up to the car. His phone is soaking wet as well. We both just got absolutely pummeled by that wave. Good times. We've got one fish on the deck. We're gonna get one more on that popper. Yeah, now I've got sand all over my bag. You little ripper. Let's get back out there, see if we can get a fish on the deck. Look at this thing, this thing's soaking wet. Sight! Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's good, that's dangerous. That's a fish on! Just over there, there's three of them. There's a big pack of them there. This one's a little bit bigger. Oh, this one's bigger. This one's bigger. Get him up. Yeah, he's a good one. That's a better fish. Go, go, go. Oi, oi, oi. All right, now this is what we come for. That is a much, much better fish. Look at that thing, he's just destroyed that lure. Like I said, they come in like bullets and they try to grab the tail off the fish. But that is a good one, man. He, oi, oi, oi. He'd be pushing 60 centimeters. He's a good fish. That thing there, we're gonna eat him up for breakfast. He's a slob. Still not as big as that one we got yesterday, but this thing's definitely an upgrade on that first one we got. He's a good fish, he'd be pushing 60. We'll give him a little measure back of the car, but that is, oi! That is a good fish, man. Chill, 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 buddy. Look at that. That is a way to start a day. Beautiful Taylor. Big dog. Destroyed that lure. Right, let's get it back out there. The old man just lost two in a row. There's some fish around. I think we found the fishing ground. Get out of here, you mongrel. Go and get. Get out of here. See that bloody bird right there? That thing just tried to fly away with me fish. Get out of here. I'm just keeping him down here in the water so he keeps cool, you know? Bloody birds are trying to fly away with it. All right, that fish which we just got then is gonna be some of the most incredible breakfast. It's a good fish, it's a slob. It's in this bag right now and it's actually pulling me shoulder off. It's pretty heavy. My old man has gone my old man is about 10 k's fishing down there. He's a fully blown frother man. He will never give up. He will just fish the whole day. But I'm coming back to the troopy now. I'm gonna walk all the way back up here and we're gonna cook this fish up. I am starving. I've been hanging out for fish for like the last three days. We finally got two fish on the deck. Froth levels are high, my doggies. We're gonna cook up one hell of a feed right now. That was a good morning. Two fish, we lost a couple. We got two up and um, I dare say the old boy is gonna come the old boy's gonna come back with a couple. He is honestly so far down the coast there. He loves it, eh? All right, let's go get a cook up going. I'm gonna make a Brewster session first up. Have a look at that thing. That is gonna go so good for breakfast. That's a slob of a tailor right there. But before we do anything, we need one thing. We need coffees. Bang, bah, fresh bag of FDYS coffee. Big juicy tailor. That's what I'm talking about. Did 
This thing's had a hard life, eh? There we go. This little clicker doesn't work anymore. Too many Brewster sessions. But he's a lighter. But we're on fire. We're going. It is finally time to feast. Have a look at this thing. That is a beautiful tailor. He's a big dog. Way bigger than that chopping board. He's a nice fish. This thing's going to be beautiful. It's fresh as hell. The old man's at the back. He's cleaning the fish that he got. We only need this one fish. This thing's huge, man. Secret to filleting fish is a sharp knife. So I'm quickly just going to put an edge on this little knife here. And we're going to rip some fillets off this fish. All right, it's time to rip a fillet off. What we're going to do is bring the knife up behind that petrol fin. Come down there on an angle and break its skin. I'm just going to run this sharp knife along the back of the fish's skin, just popping the skin like that. And then we're just going to follow that bone the whole way down. Look at that, that is fresh. Dude, I can smell it. It's beautiful, it's soft, it's fresh. Look at that, that is one big juicy fillet of fish right there. There's not much left on the bone there. Flip him over, do the other side. But what I'll do, while well, we've got this camera on me head, rip the skin off. So we're just gonna come in, run this knife nice and flat along that chopping board and just shaking the skin, keeping your knife still. What happens is you get a big juicy bit of skin like that. And on this side, you get absolutely no skin. So what we'll do after that is flip him down, cut down this, this bloodline here. See that bloodline there? Follow that bloodline down. And we're just gonna cut along it pushing that bit of meat to the side. Then all of this red meat here, that's what we call blood meat. That don't taste no good. So you want to get rid of that. So I like to cut them into little sections. Bang. Flip them up on his edge. If you've got a really nice sharp knife, you just get it in and you'll be able to cut that blood meat off just like that. Boom. Get rid of that blood meat there. A little bit of bone. And just like that, you've got a beautiful fillet. We're going to be eating that right now. Alright, there's a fish frame that we're left with. There ain't much meat left on that, but what I have noticed is that this here is the fish's stomach and it is as hard as rocks. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut his stomach open and see what he's been eating because that right there is solid, man. So we're going to put a little slit in the back of his gut there. And I'm just going to squeeze his stomach. Oh, look at this dude! Are you kidding? That is a hungry fish, man. You're joking me. Look at the size of that mullet. That's the size of my hand. It's only half the fish. There's his tail. That's a big fish. That come out of that fish's stomach. You are kidding. I wonder why this guy's been busy. How, how did he even want to eat that lure after he ate that? That's all he's got in his stomach is a massive mullet like that. That's a big mullet. That's huge. See, that's what the tailor do. They come in and they eat the back of the fish and they eat the rest of the fish. That's insane. That's a big fish. That's a big fish to come out of a fish's belly. That's Papa Field Day. He's out of here. He's got to go do a couple of things today. So he's getting out of here. He's had a coffee and he's out. Bye, Papa Field Day. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen. This is what we've got going on. Breadcrumbs and a little bit of flour, salt and pepper all mixed together in a bag there. Down here, this is the tailor we've just caught this morning. It is as fresh. That is as fresh as it gets right there. Fish don't get fresher than that. This is what I'm gonna have him for breakfast. I just gave the rest of the fish to my old man. I don't need it. This is enough for me. This is a good feed right here. Little bit of oil getting hot down here. Views. Look at that, mate. We've got some hella views. So what I'm gonna do is gonna cut these up into little bite-sized pieces now. There's a lot of fish here. Here's our bag of goodness. Here's the fresh Taylor fillets. They're going straight into that bag of goodness there. Give it a good old fashioned shake up. There's nothing special about this recipe, but um, look, every man and his dog does this and they do it for a reason because it's that good. Give him a little bit of a shake up there. Look at this, little golden brown bits of goodness. Pretty excited. Two or three minutes, it's gonna be done. 
Check that out. Golden brown little fish nuggets. My mouth is actually watering right now. Got a whole frying pan of little fish nuggets here. All right, here we go. The time has come to finally cook, or should I say eat a little bit of fish. Look at these golden brown fish nuggets. They're cooked to perfection. I should have probably, probably thought ahead here and brought out a little bit of dipping sauce or some wraps or a big burger bun. We would have made a hell feed, but this is, all, this is all I wanted to do in this episode is just catch and cook a fish down here on the beach. We ended up getting it done. It's a little bit of a slog, but we did get it done. And look at that. It is worth every single second. Oh, man. Doesn't get any fresher than that. That is absolutely bloody beautiful. Look at that. Oh, man. Well, you guys know the drill. I'm going to sit here with this incredible view, eat this big tray of delicious fish, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video on the next adventure. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Just remember, get outside. Life is for living. Enjoy what we've, enjoy what we've got, man. Have a go at this. Mwah. Much love, my doggies. I'll see you in the next video. Side! Look at that guy right there. He's just floating around on a bloody powered kite thing. Living his best life. So am I, mate. So am I. I've got a big tray of food here. All right, my doggies. Me and that bloke up there, we'll probably see you in the next video. Ow. I've got to bust the first aid kit out. Somebody's stuck a knife in their thumb. Uh. Hey. <laughs> So right, we'll have him bandaged up in no time. I don't think YouTube's gonna wanna see the blood that's pouring out of his finger right now. It's okay, I've stopped it. Right, man, that's, that's a hole and a half.